Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode here in the Masterclass for the Blueprints. Um, in one of the last episodes we did Blueprints for the Smelters, but we only built this Bajikis, you know, like this style. Well, you're gonna find out that in your game you're gonna need different stuff, you, it's not pretty. To just put the smelters like this okay so we're gonna do right now the right thing i'm using the mark one blueprint designer i have access to the mark three but no point in using it because we're only doing two four three let's say four smelters the most basic ones okay so let's suppose you got a i don't know impure iron old copper and you want to make some uh i don't know, copper sheets whatever you want to make in there wire cable you ain't gonna need that. You're gonna need two smelters. You don't want that scorpion style stuff. You wanna do something really simple, really easy. So here we are, two smelters, ballast. Okay, ballast is the key word in here. So that one is not the right place. Now, if you put them like that, you'll see that your belts are not exactly good. They, they look like, okay, why? Because these are way skinnier than a constructor. Constructor fills up full tile. This one, no. So, in order to make them, should I say, in order not to make them look like that, ugly, oh, we'll have to align these guys differently. So, put that one in there, put this one in here, grab yourself a merger, put it in the front. All the belts will be marked one. You know why? Because I'm gonna start a new playthrough in this game, and um, I wanna use these blueprints non-stop. Basically, everything that I'm building, I'm gonna be built with blueprints. That's my plan. Okay, already have a bunch of blueprints in here. For example, for these guys, I have 12, 10, 8, 4, 2. I went back, modified them. All of them are Mark Free. Okay, so Mark Free. Is still that's when you have your blueprint machine this one that we're using here mark one uh, so with these guys I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the constructors make them mark once simple so we're gonna come in here and see in here two smelters balanced side by side mark one Will it fit? The one doesn't fit. Um, well, we're gonna make side by side, S by S, and that's it. Leaving some space in there. And we're gonna know what it is, okay? Directory, I want it in here, in smelters. Close that. Icon, smelter please. Uh, my color. Uh oh, wrong button, BG. So the color still blueprint. It is done, mister. Now, this is my blueprint for two smelters. Guess what? You're gonna need three. Oh my god, we just made the blueprint for three smelters. Guess what? Now, It is possible that you're gonna need to add more. In that case, you're gonna have to go with this pole to the next batch. Or, I don't know, put another pole in there. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm lazy. Okay? Free smelters, side by side, mark one. Gotta choose the directory again, put my blueprint in there. And the rest is kept. Done. Now, let's go for the fourth. Okay? But that one will be a little different. Uh, clear. My designer. I'm gonna come in here, go to smelters, grab the two. Okay, one is in here. Let's see. I'm gonna align that one if I can, please. Um, aim at it, twist it, turn it. Do it however you want. It's done. 
Now we can leave it like that or make it pretty and add put that one in here. But if you put that guy in here, just to have this one side by side, you're gonna have issues when you're gonna put in here a splitter. Because guess what? I want them balanced, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh, it's a mark one. Most likely in here you're gonna need a mark two. Gonna leave it a mark one, baby. It is what it is. But I will modify these guys. So that one has the exit forward. I'm gonna keep that one. Let's see. It doesn't matter which one we're gonna keep with the exit forward. I'm just gonna put them like this. And that all will be mark one. Once you got them all made like this, it's easy out in the field. You know, make this one mark three, whatever you need. Those ones mark two, okay, just click on them, they mark two. And it's done. Same thing here, you need that one mark two, just make it mark two in there, most likely, and the exit mark three, and that's it. But um, for easy placement, this is the way to go, you know. Now, let's change this baby in here. So it's gonna be four smelters. S by S, side by side. Balanced, that's very important. Mark one. Don't need any other description. We're gonna add our blueprint in here. We gotta select the icon and everything. Color. Gotta select it, no other way. Say blueprint, it's done. Now, let me clear this one. Um, grab my items from here. And let's do some others, because there will be times when you're gonna need not balanced, okay? You're gonna need four, five, eight, eighteen. You don't want to use the scorpion style, and you're gonna do them in line basically. You cannot put it in there for some reason. Overlap. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna put it in there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if it makes sense to put this many. At least put them, but I don't think I will ever use six in line like that. The most I used like this in line without making the Scorpio snap was like four. But you know what? We're doing blueprints, we're playing with them. It doesn't cost me anything to make them right now. Uh, better leave them in there. You know what? Actually, no. Let's delete them. No point in cracking that interface. Already have a million blueprints in there. So we're only gonna make it four, three, and two. If I need 8, I'll slap 2 of this and that's it. So, th that's my entry. We're gonna need mergers in here. Going forward, of course. Because um, I'm always building from the back into the front. That's the way I build. Let's take care of the power issue. I'm gonna put them in there just not to have them stick out of the blueprint you can add beams and magigis and you know beam dropped wires make it pretty that will add more steel beams necessary in the inventory when you're gonna build okay i'm trying to avoid that because early game i might need the setup like this and guess what i don't have enough steel beams on me I will not be able to build a blueprint because they're putting here some funky looking beams. And uh, I don't have them with me, okay? Most likely this one will need the mark 2 in there. Guess what? I ain't gonna put it. No, it's gonna be mark 1. It's easy to modify that one in the field. Just put mark 2, click on it, and it's done. Same thing with the output in here. Put that one, that one, is done. But we're gonna leave them like that. So, let's save it. It's four of them. line mark one same directory in here uh, icon this guy 
my color because we love it. Safe. Good stuff. Let's delete the last one. Now, in order to add one of them, it's really easy to do. I will not make a blueprint for one, let's be serious. But I will make it for free and two. So I'm gonna come in here and say free. Gotta put the directory again because for some reason it doesn't keep it. The rest it's in there. Okay, so those are my free smelters. Now I'm gonna do this boy here. And that boy in there. I'm gonna save my blueprint for two smelters. Same stuff. Now let's go test them. Show me. Uh, clear that. Give me back my my stuff, Mister. Gracias. Kind of dark in here. Sorry. Uh, blueprints, smelters. So you need twelve. You want to make like what I did in there? You will need more than two. That's a steel factory, by the way. It turned out amazing. You should watch the video about it. Play through. Uh, look at them. They're beautiful. 12. You can put them like that and chain them. Like I did in there. Or just split them. You know, 12 in here, 12 in there. But now we made blueprints for the tiny cases. Okay, for the small ones. Let's see, we need four. Okay. Balanced. You got them. Your exit it's in there. You need for maybe you wanna upgrade that one at some point, okay? You're gonna double the production. Well, you have two options. Either you make it doesn't copy uh like that? Yeah, it's gotta be on the mobile blueprint. Either you put it in here like that, and you just made eight, and you invent another split in here just to connect those two batches and everything is balanced or you use the ones that are in line you know the choice is always yours don't forget that the exit from this guy gotta come in here so you might want to delete that one that one put some more and make your exit in there or do it however you want let's take a look at the others blueprints uh, I want in line, okay? I got them in line. Look after your right arrow. Uh, white arrow, I said. That's my entrance, okay? So there's the entrance. My final product is coming from there. If I need another one, guess what? I'm gonna put it in there. Or you could be lazy, like somebody that I know. I, I don't know who it is. Let's see, you need five for some reason, okay? Just come in here. You have three. Come in here again. You have two. Um, guess what? You just made your five. All you gotta do: connect the inputs, connect the outputs, connect the nasty place power pole, and that's it. You get your five. It's done. All that remains is to put your recipes, and you're good to go. It will take seconds to build something that normally you will build in let's see 15 minutes 10 minutes of jumping around because when you're mark free you don't have the hover back mister maybe you'll use cheats and fly i don't like using those cheats but it is what it is the choice is entirely yours now you have the tools to do it the right way okay we're gonna leave this one in here guys thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like it don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you want to see more and if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership thank you again i'll see you in the next one take care of you all